Hey all, my name is Miranda Hughes. Welcome back to my channel. It's so great to have you. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not and you've been here for a while, it's great to see you and have you again. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into this video. So, but before I do, if you haven't yet, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And let's get into it. Okay. <clears throat> So, as you guys know, the very last video that I did was also about the movie Spirit, um, but it was, um, I Will Always Return, and um, that one was really exciting because it's basically your person saying, yes, I'm on my way home to you right now, um, get ready because your person is literally bound to show up at some point, so <laughs> can't say you weren't warned, okay? Um, but this song is, guys, oh my gosh, this is the video. This is the one that I pulled an all-nighter for just so that I could actually get this. Um, I just wanted to get it out because I'm like, God, this has been a fight. The warfare has been intense and it's like, I am getting it out. I don't care what it takes. Um, not just for my sake and God's sake and my person's, but also your guys' sake, because you guys need to hear this too. Um, but the song that God gave me to give to you guys today, finally, for this is for who it's for in this season, <laughs> it's Here I Am. And this is from Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron soundtrack. It's by Brian Adams. Um, this is a very short song. It kind of repeats itself a lot, but, um... I'm just going to read it. It says, here I am. This is me. I come into this world so wild and free. Here I am so young and strong right here in the place where I belong. It's a new world. It's a new start. It's alive with the beating of a young heart. It's a new day in a new land and it's waiting for me. Here I am. It's a new world. It's a new start. It's alive with the beating of a young heart. It's a new day in a new land, and it's waiting for me. Here I am. So I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what this means, but I'm just going to break it down anyways. So here I am. This is me. Um, first, God had to call your person out of the world, and so they had to keep saying your person's name, or God did, and your person had to recognize that they were being called literally by God and by name. So, um, once they established that, now you like, like I said, God had to work on your person. He had to get them turned in the right direction. He had to make sure that they were, um, not being distracted by counterfeits and, and all this stuff and worldly things. Um, some of them might still struggle with a little bit of the worldly things, but as far as counterfeits go, they've been eliminated. Um, your person no longer has a desire for any of those counterfeits. They're in the past. They are no more. They are done. Um, your person has had a renewed mind. Your person is ready to, not just ready to come back, they're on their way back right now um, Who this for who this is for. Um, but this song, talking about Here I Am, it's just about when your person shows up in your life, whether it's through a text or some other you know, social media platform, whether it is in person or a phone call, however they choose to do it, um, is this is all they're saying is that here I am. Like, I don't want to be hidden from you anymore. Um, I don't want to lie to you anymore. I don't want to be away from you anymore. Here I am. Like I'm returning. I'm back. I'm home. Um, and this is me, you know, like this is my, my flaws. This is everything about me. And I just, I'm ready to just be me with you. So the next part is I come into this world so wild and free. So yeah, like when we're all born, we come into the world very wild, very um, into sin and whatnot. So we do have to be born again as far as to um, be considered equally yoked with one another if we're going to be in marriage through Christ. Um, but when a person becomes born again, you know, everyone has a kind of different timeline, you know, it's not the same story. So this is why maybe for you guys watching that are waiting for your spouse to return, uh, you may have gotten born again and at a very young age, or maybe like, I don't even know, for some of you guys, if it's 30s or 40s, um, it's okay if it was around that time. The fact is, is maybe God woke you up first. Maybe God had you get saved, baptized, um, give your life to Christ first before your spouse did. 
And that's why a lot of you guys felt so frustrated because you're like, well, I love God and you seem to say you believe in God. So that's the difference though. Someone who believes in God versus someone who believes and loves God is different because someone who believes in God and loves God is going to show it in all areas of their life. Like it's going to be hard not to. Um, so this is where your person may have struggled, you know, with that rebellion streak. They just kind of wanted to do life on their own and they want to be that wild and free and sin paints a good picture of making it look like you can be wild and free, but you're really not. You're actually a slave to, you know, especially if you get loans and debts and all this stuff. Um, you know, the borrower becomes enslaved to the lender and it's like you kind of get stuck in poverty or um, if you're not handling your, your budget and stuff right. Um, you know, being in debt to other people if you're following the wrong crowd and you're constantly people pleasing and stuff. And so that's why we're, they're saying, I come into this world so wild and free. It's like, yeah, you came into this world with sin. You kind of had, you know, worldly desires and all this stuff, but now that you've come to Christ, this is why the next line says, here I am so young and strong. Um, they're a new Christian. They're a new creature, a new creation in Christ. Um, they're like baby Christians. And they're, that's why the, another point of this song is, here I am, this is me. They're saying like, here I am. It's kind of the same me, but it's a new me. You know, it's I might have the same name. I might have look a little bit the same, but... Um, you know, I'm still young, I'm strong in the spirit, I'm trying to learn more about God and myself, my purpose, I want to learn more about you, um, and then that next uh, line is right here in the place where I belong. They've tried to belong in different groups and churches and um, organizations, they tried to belong in different relationships, and it just, they didn't belong there because that's not where God chose them to be. Um, he didn't ordain for them to be there. Just like how things didn't work out for you guys when you stepped foot into certain churches or you stepped foot into certain relationships, um, something either wasn't setting right or just wasn't right no matter how hard you tried to make it, no matter how hard and how much you wanted it to work out, it just wasn't going to because it wasn't God's will for your life to stay in that thing. Maybe you were supposed to learn a lesson or... Um, you know, kind of be a blessing to someone else and then move it along and go elsewhere because God needed you to grow and he needs you to, you know, pick up whatever you needed to learn in that thing or with that person and then apply it to the next thing. So that's what your person was going through. And now that they've learned everything that they needed to learn, just like in the last video, um, they've seen every sunset and after all that they've learned for to you, they will always return. Um, that's what they're talking about is like they're returning now. They're returning back to you. And um, the next part says it's a new world. It's a new start. It's alive with the beating of a young heart. So a new world, it's a new start. So God is giving them a clean slate. He's just like, look, you've made your mistakes. You have your flaws and your hiccups. But you know what? I love you so much. I want what's best for you. We're just going to forgive all that. We're not going to forget, but we will forgive. And, um, you know, we're just going to like, I wouldn't say not pretend that it never happened, but we're just going to do our best to not hold grudges and, you know, um, try to hold it against them. Um, and this is why God's wanting for those of us that are waiting for our spouse to return. It's not just waiting for them to come back. It's you have to be, your heart posture has to be in the right space and your mind has to be in the right space. Um, you shouldn't be thinking about ways how you can make them feel guilty or um, what kind of arguments you can get into with this person. Like, no, if that's what you're plotting and planning, that is plotting, um, whether you want to call it that or not, it really is. So um, if you're thinking of, you know, choices of word as far as like how you can have an argument with them or a heated discussion, like this is another delay in your life. So that's why if that's you, I'm sorry, like your person may not return to you until you can cool off a bit from that. Um, God's going to have to help you with that. But for those who it's for this word, um, you know, you're going to know it's for you because you feel at peace and you feel at ease. It, like you can think about how your person had hurt you, upset you, said whatever the worst of the worst, did the worst of the worst, and you're not angry about it. You're not 
throwing a fit about it. You're not crying about it. You're not whatever. Like you just, you understand that they did what they did at the time that they did it because at the time that's what your person believed in or thought was okay to do. And you know that God has your back and God has been pruning you and pruning your person. God's been working on you and working on your person. Um, God is correcting you and your person. So you know that God also forgives you if you forgive them. And so you've been working on that forgiveness. It may have taken a lot of time, but you've managed to get there. And now we're here. The part where um, it has to be a safe environment, meaning like your person also, they shouldn't be in a mindset of, you know, I'm still going to blame them because of, you know, my mistakes. No, they need to be held accountable. They need to be able to apologize. They need to be able to recognize their own faults not condemn themselves, but to be able to recognize that, you know what, um, that was not the best version of me. And that was not acceptable for me to behave or treat you in the way that I did, or to say whatever I said. Um, I'd like to take it back and start over. Um, and God's going to allow that. He's going to allow there to be a clean slate so that you and your person, when you guys come together, you guys are going to love as if you've never been hurt. And, um, that's the beauty of it. So like, it's a new world. It's a new start. So you guys, it's not just a new world and a new start with y'all, like the couple being in a relationship, it's a new world. It's a new start because it's a new type of relationship. Like you guys have never been in this type of godly marriage or relationship before in your life. And that's why it's a whole different ball game. Um, you know, way different standards and expectations, um, and obviously boundaries. And then the other thing, and also you're keeping God in the center of all of this too. And that's, what's different than all these other relationships is in the past. It was just you and your person trying to figure everything out. Now you guys are praying, reading your Bible, um, seeking godly counsel. You guys might be doing a little bit of fasting. Uh, you know, you're taking it slow and going, at God's speed and God's pace instead of your guys' own pace. Um, and the next part about it being a new world and a new start is I just did a video not too long ago and it was talking, there was two different ones that I did. The first one was um, from the theme song from Aladdin. It was a whole new world. And that's just talking about like, as you and your person step into the promised land, as you guys uh, are activating and using the spiritual gifts that God has given you, um, or any skills that he's given you, you guys, um, can be making a profit. So that means you guys can use that stuff and you will flourish and it will be in abundance. Like you guys will be able to make a living off of the, the natural God given talents that he's given you in order to, you know, make a little bit of money or to, um, provide for yourselves. Kind of like Ruth and Boaz. Um, and then the next thing is a new start. So it's like, you guys might be given new names. You got like, um, Abraham and Sarah, you guys might get a fresh start. Um, as far as you guys might be moving to a whole different state, country, town, whatever you guys could be moving to new promotions. Um, cause again, like God's going to be pouring the rain down on you guys because he's just so like about to bless y'all. Like y'all don't even know you're about to get mega blessed. Okay. Um, you know, you guys, it's just part of you guys being a part of God and coming back together. And, um, that's part of the reward. Like God wants to bless y'all because he wants to make sure you guys are knowing that you're in God's will. And that's one of the ways to know is, um, the downpour of God, you know, not his wrath, but his, uh, you know, any wealth that you guys may attain, any, uh, wisdom that you guys may get any, uh, I don't know, just, bigger, better, newer stuff, um, a fresh start. And that just sometimes means a whole brand new life, um, in complete total, total stuff. Um, and then in the second video that I did was a wonderful world, I think it was. And it was just kind of talking again about the promised land and talking about how wonderful it's going to be and different it's going to be and how peaceful it's going to be. And that's the other thing is that when you guys come back together, you're going to have so much peace because it's like, I mean, yeah, you're still going to have some attacks from um, the enemy. You're still going to have some um, testing that's going to take place. But overall, 
there's going to be peace and joy that's fulfilled in this relationship. Even when you guys have disagreements and um, have a little bit of awkwardness as you guys are trying to adjust to, you know, living with one another or being around one another or, um, you know, doing life together again. Um, you know, like you guys are just, uh, God's going to be in it. Um, and there's going to be a lot of peace and that's how you're going to know. Um, the second thing is it's alive with the beating of a young heart. So again, going back to your person being a young Christian in faith, uh, you know, they're going to be eager to get to know God's word. They're going to be eager to, you know, hear your testimony and your stories. And then they want to talk about theirs and what God's done for them. Uh, you know, like they're just, um, they, they're going to, you're, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said your person is going to feel, and you'll probably feel this too. You and your person are going to feel alive as in so alive with um, this new relationship. So alive with what God is doing for you guys in your lives. Um, feeling alive for the first time because it's like you're finally getting the love that you deserve. You're finally getting the recognition that you deserve. You're finally getting, um, this may not all happen all at once, like with everything, but then again, it could be kind of like a domino effect. Um, I'm not sure what order it's going to go in for you guys, but, um, so pray to God about that. Uh, for instance, like God may have you guys move to a different location, um, and then get new jobs or it could be get new jobs and then, you know, eventually move to the new location. I don't know. It could be one of those. Um, but the point is, is that you're going to be feeling alive, both of you, because it's going to be a love you haven't experienced before. It's going to be filled with grace and compassion and love and understanding. You and your person are going to feel super, super close to one another because you're, for the first time, going to feel like you can connect with someone who just gets you and you don't even have to explain a whole lot. Like, you guys might have the same type of humor. You might have the same um, food cravings. You guys might have um, a lot of the same interests. Uh, hopefully, you know, the same values and morals and stuff. But you're just going to feel alive because you're going to have so much relief of, first, your person coming back. Second, the fact that they are excited to do life with you just as much as you are. And third is just all the things that come with the promised land and just, you know, having God in the midst of everything and just you guys getting to experience God every day together and getting to experience new things with God, um, having new stories and testimonies, having, uh, I don't know, just new things to kind of talk to other people about what God has done for you in your life, um, individually and as a couple. And then, uh, says it's a new day in a new land. So again, talking about the promised land, it's all new. And um, even though you guys might be feeling a little bit nervous, you're probably going to be feeling more excited, more than nervous. Um, your person is at that same level too. They're nervous as to if you're going to accept them, receive them, and listen to them. But they're more excited than nervous. Like they... Um, they're ready for this fresh start. They're ready to do life with you. They're ready to see where, what all God has in store for them. They're ready for better. And you're at that point too where you're just like, I am tired of being where I'm at. I'm just ready for my person to come back. And I'm just ready to do life with God and my person and, you know, go higher from here. And so that's where the next part says, and it's waiting for me. Here I am. Meaning your person, God has made it clear to your person that um in a way that you're waiting for them um you're waiting for them to reach out you're waiting for them to step up to the plate you're waiting for them to um apologize or to um make it right and so your person may not know how much you're in love with them or how much you are willing to um you know just forgive and not really forget but just forgive and move forward i guess um with them they, uh, they just know that God has made it very clear that, uh, you are waiting for them for something. And so that's why the next line says, here I am. And so, uh, they're just like, all right, I'm done running. <laughs> I'm done. Like I've had my fun. It didn't turn out too well. Um, you know, God was right and I was wrong. Uh, there was just nothing good about any of that stuff. I got the lessons that I needed and I grew up really fast and um, 
you know, I just, I really want God and I want the person and the life that God has planned and picked out for me. Um, clearly every time I pick something out, it doesn't go very well. So, you know what, I want what God wants for me. And that's where your person's at right now. And what that is for them is you just like you are the same way. You are literally on the same page. You're like, God, I just want what you want for me and I'll take it when you're ready to give it to me. Um, so now that no, neither person is rushing into anything, neither person is trying to manipulate anything. It's just you and your person are both at the same level of God. I'm just ready when you are, you know, make something happen. God's like, okay, now we can begin. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the song because it just kind of repeats itself, but it really is. It's just, it's a new world and a new start. Your person is here and they are going to be showing up. So, um, yeah, like this is why I pulled the all nighter. Cause I'm just like, I'm getting this word out. I don't care guys. There was so many distractions and delays. It was only supposed to take me like three hours or less to get these out. And it did not go that way, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, God has the floor, so he's allowed to speak whatever he wants, when he wants. Um, it may have my name, but this isn't truly his platform. Um, I'm just speaking on it. Uh, oh my gosh, my dog was having some issues, and so I was just like, you know what? <laughs> if I got to pull an all-nighter, so be it. Like, what's one more? <laughs> um, this is too good not to, you know, I was afraid if I held off that something else would come up in the way, and then I wouldn't get it out in time. So that's why releasing it now but that was here i am and it's by brian adams and it's from the movie spirit stallion of the cimarron i think is how you pronounce it and uh if you guys haven't yet look down in the description when i get off of here and you guys can either buy or rent that movie if you haven't seen it and you'd really like to um i don't care if it's a kid's movie i love it i actually saw that movie between 8 or 12 years old whenever it came out and went to the theater for the first time to see it um, when it was released and they gave out these little like horse toys and stuff and I just I loved it uh, and oh my gosh like the soundtrack to that like every song is great and I think majority of it is sang practically by Brian Adams so it's all really good <laughs> and uh, yeah that was Here I Am so just can't say I didn't warn you, okay? So if this is for you, be believing in what you're praying for. Believe that God will do it. Uh, no double-mindedness. Um, lose your expectations and have God's expectations, meaning, Lord, whatever you want, um, let your will be done. And then also any instructions that he's given you um, as far as preparation goes, whether it's spiritual preparation, physical preparation, if it is like, you know, showering, eyebrows, um, just, uh, you know, eating a certain diet, whatever it is, um, spiritual, getting into the, into the word. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one, praying, fasting, um, I guess like anointing your house if you need to, um, or anointing anything that God's told you to anoint. I'm trying to think anything else. The last one for preparation is just your mind. Like if you just need to have God renew your mind and to lose your expectations and just um, not focus or fixate on one type of way of how this is going to happen. Um, be open, open-minded to how God wants to do it and don't fight him on this. Like um, if it seems like things are at a bad time for your person to come into your life. Um, don't feel ashamed or feel guilty of that. Like just take it to God, ask him to help you with your emotions on that. Because even though it might seem like a bad time, um, it's okay to be vulnerable with your person. It's okay. Um, God's probably shown them something in the spirit or shown them something in order for them to understand what you're going through and what you're dealing with. And who knows, your person might just show up to help you, and you may not even see that coming. But, like I said, now that I said it, you might have a little bit of an idea. Um, and if not, that's okay, because like I said, everyone's love story is going to be a little bit different. Um, they can be similar, but different, if that makes sense. But anyways, y'all been warned. I love y'all. Um, that was Here I Am by um, Brian Adams, and I love that song. Ugh. I've been playing it for the last like two or three days. God had it in my spirit. Um, 
I printed this off May 16th of 2022. <laughs> this has been sitting for a while. But anyways, I was excited to finally release this word. So y'all, God bless y'all. What a, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. And if you haven't yet, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.